What's up, everybody? Hannah here from Revo Physiotherapy and Sports Performance, uh, giving you an update with my ACL rehab non-surgical path. Uh, so if you've been following along, you know that one of the things that I'm going to be working on here is uh, biomechanics. So last video I posted, Nicole and I went through and we did a video analysis and looked at my biomechanics. And today I'm going to talk about how, uh, how I'm addressing them, what exactly I'm doing to make it cleaner and more beautiful. So check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to cover three exercises to address Hannah's trunk lean that we saw in her step-down movement assessment. So we're going to start here with a staggered stance pal-off press. Hannah's going to grab a resistance band. She's going to get into the staggered or split stance position. She's going to have about 80% of her weight on her front leg here, 20% of weight on her back leg. She's going to sit those hips back, trunk comes forward. Pull the band right in line with her belly button, and she's going to press straight out. Now, main thing I don't want to see is Hannah's trunk leaning over her stance leg, right? That's what we saw in that step-down video. We are fighting hard. She's using her core to prevent any kind of lateral trunk lean here. From the side, Hannah's going to get into that hinged sit-down position trunk comes forward and press out, right? There is a big trunk lean component in this to get the glutes and core more involved. All right, next exercise is a step up. Again, we're focusing on Hannah's trunk position. These are all motor control exercises. So ideally at home, we wanna be in front of a mirror so you can see uh, where your body positioning is. So Hannah, again, is in this hinged over position. She has her left foot on the step. She's really pushing through that left foot to stand up and she is focusing on making sure she doesn't have any collapsing of the trunk through this motion. To make it a little bit more specific to running motion, because that's Hannah's main goal that she wants to get back to, she's going to step up and drive that opposite knee up at the top um, to challenge herself a little bit. And as it starts to become easier, she can also start to add a little bit more speed, make it a plyometric movement. There's lots of options here, but the main thing is to be doing it with good control. Third exercise we're going to have Hannah do to address her lateral trunk lean is a suitcase carry. So Hannah's going to grab a very heavy kettlebell or dumbbell and hold it in one arm by her side. She's going to tension, create a lot of tension throughout her body. So she's going to activate her core, squeeze her glutes, pull her shoulder blades down and back to engage her lats. And then she's going to do laps uh, along the turf, walking there and back paying attention to where her shoulders are as she's walking. We don't want to see a big lean to one side or another. Uh, so those are the three exercises that I'm doing for neuromuscular control to correct that uh, biomechanic fault of the trunk lean. So just to differentiate a little bit, I'm doing the BFR right now to really build strength in my lower extremities. This is really done, these three exercises are for neuromuscular control or kind of my biomechanics and my patterning. So both are super important and I'm going to be focusing on both.